What's going on Big A coming at you with another video and I went to see Suicide Squad when it came out in the UK on the 30th of July. I didn't even know it came out in the States a week later so it's going to come out on the 5th of August and um, yeah, it's just, just my general thoughts on it. I've seen the first one obviously, the first time around I actually saw the first one. I didn't enjoy it but I was like eh, it's, it's, it's actually okay. I saw it a second time and I went Yo, what the hell was wrong with me? Like, why did I think it was okay, like, the first time around? I, I just didn't didn't like the movie after that at all. Um, and then, yeah, man, when, when they got James Gunn got fired by Disney and they were like, yo, he's doing su Suicide Squad for DC, I was like, oh, snap, okay. That's going to be interesting. You know what I mean? This is an ensemble guy. They're obviously going for that Suicide Squad kind of tone, but a bit more adult um, in the original this Suicide Squad. And then, yeah, he came out with the second one, the Suicide Squad. I went to see it, um, and yeah, it's an improvement. It is an improvement. It's definitely an improvement, like, no doubt about it. Me, I'm a big fan of the fact that James Gunn is pretty good at an ensemble cast, writing an ensemble cast and directing for them as well. On top of that, the film is very colourful, like, stupid costumes, freaking insane costumes, crazy scenarios. There's some funny jokes in there as well. Some of the jokes for me fall a bit flat because I feel like the sense of humour is like a guy in his 50s or late 40s trying to be really edgy and it, it just comes across as a, a bit cringe at times for me, for me, but I think other people might enjoy that humour, but it, I found it a bit like, a bit too, a bit too juvenile at times, but it was still pretty funny. Uh, obviously, you know, they swapped out Will Smith for Idris Elba, like, because their characters serve the exact same function. And obviously, when Will Smith was like, I'm not coming back, like, okay, we'll, we'll get Idris Elba to play a character who's similar to, uh, to Deadshot. So, yeah, and he's good. Everyone's, everyone's good in it. Like, even all the deaths of all the various uh, supervillains slash criminals, they're all good as well. They're all pretty funny. Just the whole story, like, getting Starro in there, that was like the main attraction for me. I wish they'd never revealed it in the trailer because you knew as to what part of the film it was going to come in. And if it, if it was never in the trailer and then, you know, we see it in a movie, you're just like, oh, for real? But because I already know it's coming and I'm that guy who watches like pretty much every trailer. You know, I don't just watch the teaser. I watch the, the trailer, the teaser trailer and then the main trailer. I'm not like your average person. He'll just watch the teaser and then... Go, oh, I'll see that, and then won't bother seeing, you know what I mean, the, the main trailer. So I already knew Starro was going to be in it, um, and I just wish it would have been a better reveal. But but yeah, the, the film's kind of zany. Uh, every kind of chapter starts off like like a comic book. You'll have the title of the chapter, and it'll be kind of written within things in that world. So, for example, there's a bit on the toilet seat where it says three days later, but the three days later is with, written with like toilet cleaner or something like that. It felt very comic booky. It felt like James Gunn just kind of like took the concept of the comic and just yeah ran with it and embraced the stupidness, which is what they need to do because it's like it's a balls to the wall, non-stop action thrill ride. That's what Suicide Squad is supposed to be. That's what it was. That's what I enjoyed it for. Would I buy the movie? Nah, I wouldn't buy the movie. If it was on streaming, would I watch it? Yeah, yeah. I felt I was like, oh, you know what? I've had a couple of beers. Let me watch Suicide Squad. Oh, sorry, The Suicide Squad. And if it came on TV one time, like during Christmas or New Year or something like that, and I just bumped into it on TV, then then yeah, probably watch it. I don't think it, this movie is going to bring any new kind of like amazing action or anything like that. I mean, the Star Wars stuff is cool to watch and all that. That's kind of new. But action-wise, I don't think there's anything here that we've not seen before. There is a cool Harley. Actually, Harley gets about two like really cool scenes, actually. All to herself, pretty much. Um, and Bloodsport. I don't feel Bloodsport has his own kind of thing in the movie, but he is good to watch, and I do like Idris Elba with his uh, with his British accent. You know, what I mean, being a Brit on there. Um, you know, that's cool. <laughs> that's always cool. Uh, having a Brit lead in the pack, and uh, yeah, just in general, just a good time, man. So I think, yeah, if you can be bothered, if you're in the states when it comes out on the fifth of August. I think it's definitely worth putting money down, risking it, you know, putting on a mask during this corona time, going to the cinema and uh, and seeing the Suicide Squad. 
So overall, if I had to score it, I'd say it's a pretty average experience for me. So somewhat C, C minus. It's 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 average and it does the job. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know when you buy some grime cleaner cleaner for for the bathroom, and yeah, you use it some silic bang, and it and it kind of gets the job done. You're like, yeah, that's a good job. I wish it could have done better, but it's a pretty good job that silic bang. That's what this movie is for me. So um, let me know if you're going to go and see The Suicide Squad in the States if you've not seen it. Um, if you're from the UK or somewhere that has had the movie released already, let me know as to what you thought and as to how you'd grade a movie. Do all the things. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.